Income Tax 2021-2022 Software Example Self-Employed Health Insurance Deduction Get ready to get refunds to the max diving into Income Tax 2021-2022. Lacert Tax Software, you don't need access to tax software to follow along, but you might want to have the Form 1040, which you can find on the IRS website at irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point, single filer, Adam Smith, living in Beverly Hills, 90210, 100,000 W-2 income, standard deduction 12,550. We got the 87,450 for the taxable income, mirroring that in our income tax equation formula, 100,000, 12,550, 87,450, letting the software calculate the tax on page two at the 1515, and that will be calculated here at the 1515 as well, or we'll show it there as the 1515. We're going to open up some more forms. We're focused now on the Schedule 1, Page 2. So Schedule 1, Page 2, Adjustments to Income. We're looking down here at the, the Self-Employment Tax, Line Number 17. However, to look at Line 17, we're talking about a business type of situation most commonly applied to a, a C, a Schedule C, so likely having a Schedule C, but you can see other situations like a flow through partnership or possibly a, a S corporation, but that's a little bit more confusing, the S corporation, because they also have a W-2 kind of situation uh, on the flow through, on that flow through ent entity, uh, because that's the way the IRS typically likes to collect the self-employment tax or the Social Security and Medicare in that instance. So be careful with the S corporation. But in essence, you can you can see, well, if there's going to be a calculation of, of self-employment tax. This might then be a question that comes up for you as to whether or what's going on with the insurance uh, type of situation and is there the ability to take a deduction related to it. So let's go through the whole scenario again. I'm going to close this up for now. I'm going to go back to the first page of the 1040. I'm going to move this 100,000 to Schedule C so, so that we can imagine we then have a Schedule C system instead of W-2. I'm going to go back on over and delete the wages here. We're going to go then into the income, Schedule C. And let's do it this way this time. I'm going to say that the income was 120,000 and then the expenses were 20,000 just so we could see the net income calculation of the 100 and then I can go back to the forms I can look at the schedule C which is an income statement 100 120,000 minus the 20,000 gives us that 100,000 now there's a bunch of stuff that kind of happens when we add this business entity and some of it is relevant as we try to think about the possible deduction for the uh, insurance because we have a similar kind of situation, you always gotta kind of think about this dynamic is that when you think about the employee and employer situation for a corporation, what happens is you possibly could have a deduction related to uh, the insurance. There's kind of, there, there's often a benefit of an employee having their insurance basically provided through the employer and then you got a deduction. This is a similar kind of situation as we saw with the self-employment tax, which is trying to mirror in some ways the payment of the self-employment or payroll taxes if you were in a corporation and an employee employer type of situation in which case as we saw the employee and employer uh, well in a corporation the employee and the employer pay a portion or a half of the self-employment tax social security and medicare we saw in a prior presentation that in that situation we got the 100,000 the net income the government treats basically the self-employed individual, even if we don't have any employees, as kind of the employee of ourselves and the employer of ourselves, charging us basically payroll taxes on the employee and employer side, which we could see calculated on Schedule SE. So if you see Schedule SE, that means that you have some income in essence that the government is, is basically seeing you as both the employee and employer, and then any other benefits that might be involved or similar to that situation in a C corporation situation, like insurance, is where you could possibly see a, a mirroring type of transaction happening for, for the self-employed individual for any of this kind of self-employed uh, income. So if I go to the, to, to the first page of the 1040 uh, and then go to page two of the 1040, there we saw that 14,129 added on to the tax, the, the normal uh, income tax that's being calculated now 
and half of that's going to be deductible. So now if I go to schedule one and I go to page two, so now we've got the 765, half of the self-employment tax being deductible, trying to mirror once again the, the employee and employer kind of side of things if it was an employee-employer relationship in a normal corporation. So now that that's set up, you could say, okay, maybe I qualify now for the self-employed health insurance deduction. And you gotta look at other things. You gotta say, okay, well, do, did you have access to, to the health insurance by some other means? Possibly you have W-2 income uh, as another on your other income and your Schedule C business is a side job and it's not all of your income and you have the capacity to get the insurance through your W-2 uh, income, then the, the IRS would generally think that that's the way you would go. Or if married, then do you have the capacity through your spouse possibly to get covered under the under a plan through employer so you got to take those into consideration so but if you're doing a tax return and you see self-employed income then that's going to that's going to take you a step further to want to question what exactly is your is your health insurance uh, payment situation do you have access to health insurance how are you paying for the health insurance and so on so i'm going to jump on over to this and let's go into the the uh, health insurance and i'm just going to put my trusty 1000 there just to test it out and then go back on over to the forms so there's the 1000 that pulls over to the forms as well so now you, if you have this item here you would expect that you would also have the the half of the self-employment and that totals up then to the 8065 pulling over to the form 1040 where we've got the 100,000, 8,065 adjusted gross income at the 91,935 standard deduction 12,550, and then we've got the qualified business income deduction, which we might talk about when we get to the Schedule C business, getting us to the 28,427, and the taxable income of the 63,508, and then on page two we've got the tax calculator for the federal income tax, and then we got that added tax which is gonna be the self-employment tax that's being tacked on. So if I was to mirror all this on my, my form over here to try to understand it and recalculate it, I could say, okay, my income is not coming from the W-2, it's coming from the Schedule C. I could put the, the income statement in here again, but I might just want to just put the summary here. And if I wanted to do an, another worksheet to calculate the income, then I might do that in a more complicated worksheet uh, so so I won't get into that now. That flows through to page one, and then we're gonna have the deductions for the self-employment tax, so adjustments to income. Well, let's do the tax first. The tax is going to be an additional tax of the tax here. Is that the right number on the additional tax? I'm just gonna plug it in here. We could recalculate it, but I'm just gonna plug it in at the 14,129, so 14,129. And that pulls in to the first page. So that pulls in right here, 14,129 in the added tax. And then I'm gonna go to the adjustments. So the adjustments to income, we've got the adjustment for the self-employment, which is gonna be equal to, and I'm gonna pull it over from the additional taxes, that 14,129 divided by two, because half of it's gonna be deductible. And then, we've got the health insurance so now we got the new thing which is on schedule one page two which was the deductible part of self-employment uh not that it was this one self-employed health insurance so i'm going to put that in here self-employed health insurance and then you would probably put the full amount uh, which yeah I'll put the full amount 1000 here this isn't half of it, this is the full amount. And then I'm gonna put some brackets around it, make it blue, and then summing that up, looks good. So these two adding up to the 8065, that pulls over to the page one. So there's gonna be the 8065, getting us to the 91,936. So if I go back to page one, you can see how that's calculated, the 91,936, the 12,550, getting us to and then you've got the qualified business of the 15,877 to the taxable income of the 63,508. So if I go back on over here, 91,936, 12,550, and then we've got the qualified business income deduction, which I'm just gonna pull from the software at this point. We might get into that in more detail later. 
That's the 15877. 15877, our focus isn't there right now. However, that gets us to the 63509. So there's the 63509. Depending on the software to calculate the federal income tax, because it's the progressive tax system, 9724. So we got the 9724. So there's the tax. And then there's the other taxes, which is the self employment tax, gets us to the total tax of the 23853. So there's the 23,853, just to get an idea of, of how all the things that are kind of kind of impacted. And again, if you'd kind of work that through with an Excel sheet, forcing yourself to do the calculations in a more transparent way from a sheet that you kind of built, then that often helps you to, to internalize this stuff a bit more, understand it, feel more comfortable, be able to explain it.